Absalom's work at the gate was so effective, David had to flee Jerusalem quickly. All of David's top fighters came with him. The faithful priest and the loyal advisor, Hushai, were left behind as spies. When Absalom's personal advisor recommended he have public sex with David's wives, signifying he now had all that was David's, and send Amasa, one of David's cousin and Absalom's general, to strike at David immediately. Absalom returned to Jerusalem and found Hushai, David's advisor, waiting. Absalom said, This is how you repay your friend? Hushai replied, I am a friend to the king of Israel, and that's you. Absalom listened. Hushai provided strong advice for Absalom to wait based on the reputation of the men David had with him. Better to make a deliberate and complete defeat of David. Absalom followed Hushai's counsel to wait and set up a big public tent to copulate with David's women. Then Hushai advised David to cross over the Jordan and prepare for battle. David made three groups of his fully provisioned force. He wanted to join the battle. His men all said, they would rather kill you than 10,000 of us. Stay home. David ordered his men to deal kindly with Absalom. Absalom came with his general Amasa, and the battle joined in the forest. 20,000 of Absalom's men were killed. Absalom was also killed. The trees of the forest killed as many as the sword that day. Absalom had a reputable head of hair that became his downfall. His hair got caught in a tree. Joab was nearby, and one of his men told of Absalom's state. Joab said, If you'd have killed him, I'd have given you ten silvers and a belt. The man replied, I wouldn't take a thousand. You heard the king. He said, Deal kindly with Absalom. Joab found Absalom. His ten top soldiers fought in towards Absalom, and then Joab thrust his sword to kill him. David mourned Absalom bitterly in his tent. Joab was livid when he heard David was mourning. He burst into David's misery and said, Now we all know you would rather have us dead than Absalom. Men who should be celebrating are in their tents like you. If you don't get out there and start a party, you will not be king tomorrow. David started a party. David messaged Jerusalem. Why am I not invited back? I will fire Joab. Then Absalom's general Amasa will command the army. Judah always stayed with David. Israel not so. When David returned to Jerusalem, only the Judeans accompanied him. There was a row at this time with other tribes and Judah, with Judah making most of the noise. 